In this video, I'm going to show you another really neat feature of thing, something you can do with Scrap Page if you have a lot of content that you want to display on a single action page. Um, recall we had this, uh, let me reopen a, uh, one we used earlier. We had this particular layout here where we had a photo holder and three text boxes, each of which had some links of uh, information. Like uh, in this case, we had this one here with my wife, or my, my wife, my son and his wife. Um, as they were uh, on their wedding day, all right? So, and he also had various, uh, this, these also had uh, some links. Uh, this one had this prop up of the, uh, I believe it was the wedding party, uh, and, and so forth. Now, what I want to do, though, is remember in the video that I talked about using guides, that is um, uh, media guides, media holder guides, I'm going to add a media holder guide back to this this thing and it's going to be a pop-up hold, photo holder guide and it comes as, as always it comes in locked but you can unlock it and and zoom it up to size wherever you'd like so let's put it there something like that all right now as you recall from the uh, video on using photo guides anything that i put on top of this uh, i can copy to the clipboard so let me go ahead and um, i'm just going to add a picture and uh, get one from uh, the wedding um, from that folder and here's a nice picture of these two we'll just put this in here and move it over here someplace and blow it up a little bit to fit on top of there now i'm going to add a text box here and this text box i'm going to add i'm just going to say uh, kyle um, let's say and leanne Okay, <clears throat> so now I'll tell it, uh, let's just put this in. Oh, I think I'm going to make this at Wardy and script and um, we'll auto size it so it fits in there a little better. So there we go. Now let's say that we're happy with that. Now, remember, I can go up here and I can copy what's in that media guide. It, it's a photo pop up. Uh, or pop-up photo media guide. So I'm going to tell it to copy. Now it tells me it is copied it to the clipboard and I can paste it wherever needed. Now wherever needed can be in anything. It doesn't have to go into a link um, to a photo holder right away or a, a photo um, link right away, pop-up link right away. It can go into anything. And one of the anythings that I'm going to show you now is something called a, a, a panoramic image. And you can make these let me show you where that is again. Under action, if you go down here to make pano image, it pops up this dialog box. Now I'm going to paste what I had in that clipboard in, into this. Okay, so there you can see it's pasted in there. Now before I leave, I'm going to add some more images. And if we go in here, we can get some images. Let's go get some from down here someplace. We'll get, um, oh, here's a layout. That's a nice one. Let's try that one. And we'll put in, um, oh, the wedding party again. And let's see if we got anything else we might want to do. Let's see. How about, um, oh, a dance with Kyle and his mother. How's that? So we'll open those three and put them in there. So now you can see here's the images we have that we put into the thing we're going to make a photo holder out of. You can put a lot of these in here. Um, generally speaking, about 8 to 10 is kind of a good upper limit because you start running into memory problems beyond that and you'll lose some resolution. Um, so anyhow, I can create, let's make it a vertical, and I'll create this film strip, okay? So now you can see here's the film strip that I just, of those images I just put in, and we'll close the preview window. Now I can copy that to the clipboard and close it, and then over here in this particular one, let's take that one for example, um, instead of what we have in there now, I'm going to paste in a new image from the clipboard, which is this panoramic image that we just made, or this film strip. And I have to tell Scrap Page that it is a film strip so that it knows how to handle it. But when I do that, then if I close, if I tell this OK now, it's happy. And we go back up here now to the media uh, action page quick view. I can click on that. And when it comes up, you'll see that now here is that film strip in your, in your um, page. And the other pictures that we had are still there. And it still operates the same as always. You can close them. You can, you can bring them back. But now you have a film strip where you have a lot of detailed information uh, that can be contained on a single link to a, uh, a photo holder. So that's a good way to, to uh, include a whole lot of data 
uh, into one uh, action page, and um, and it's as as always these these um, little uh, elements of the film strip can be as complex as you want to make them uh, because they're images, not photos. And uh, as you can see here, I included uh, um, uh, some text along with a picture to make that one particular cell of the film strip, and then these other ones like here's one that was a a composite that was put together. Um, earlier and it, it's, uh, it contains itself well into the film strip. So that's another way of, uh, of enhancing your action pages real quickly. And um, until the next time, this is Dave from Media Digitronics. Bye-bye.